Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And the second story is from Sheffield. This story, I actually covered it twice when I first did it. It wasn't actually a massive video in regard to views and shares, but I felt it was one of the most important. Parents had tried to kill six of their children in Sheffield. They succeeded in killing two of them, Tristan and Blake, rest in peace. It's now emerged from court that was having an incestuous relationship, so these children, all six of them, was created from half-brother and half-sister, and the judge lifted restrictions on that information being shared. Reading from the Metro paper, it says a half-brother and sister who had six children together have been jailed for murdering two of them. They were about to be taken into care, it says. Sarah Barras and Brandon Mackin, 35 and 39 were branded evil in court today as they were told they would serve at least 35 years behind bars. They plotted to take the lives of all six of their children. Sarah strangled Tristan with a dressing gown cord at their home in Sheffield on May the 24th while Mackin used his bare hands to throttle Blake. They then put bin bags over their head to make sure that they was dead. I honestly say this is actually probably one of the hardest stories that I've covered. I've covered a lot of bad stories but the details to this are disturbing so if you are easily offended I advise you to choose another video. They each admitted two counts of murder and conspiracy of attempted murder. Mr Justice Goss told Sarah you considered the love you had for them gave you an entitlement to be able to take their lives. Outlining the case the prosecution said the pair hatched a horrific plan because they feared the children were going to be taken into care. The court heard that Sarah had also threatened her children in the past. Visitors to her house said that she told the boys I gave gave you life I can take it away. Speaking to the boys in the way described was an everyday occurrence they said. Miss Melly, the prosecution explained how the duo scraped together at various pills from around the house during the evening of May the 23rd. They divided the pills between their four eldest children. None of the children wanted to take the pills and they were forced to do so she added. The defendants expected the tablets to kill the children overnight. Sarah then sent messages and posts on social media saying that the children were ill with a bug but when it became clear that the tablets had not had the desired effect they began searching for different ways to kill them including suffocation strangulation and drowning Sarah later called Mackin to tell him the sick plan had failed and that he needed to come to the house they decided the children were better off dead than in care and he said that he would help Sarah to the best of his ability Sarah choked Tristan with the dressing gown cord as I said earlier and they approximate she did it for around three minutes before he lost his life rest in peace to Tristan. The court heard that Mackin strangled Blake with his bare hands after he'd seen her mother strangling his brother. They then ran a bath and repeatedly tried to drown one of the younger children. Following the murders and the attempted murders of the younger children, Sarah took the surviving children into the bedroom where she eventually called the police. The court heard that Sarah had asked for help with the children from the local authorities. The prosecution said the mother of six messaged a friend saying, I thought of every possible solution to this mess. Mass murder, putting them all in care, checking in to the local nut house. I love my kids too much to kill them. I can't put them into care for the same reason. The barrister described her crimes as evil and nothing but evil. She said she was profoundly damaged by her childhood. The defendants were desperate to prevent her, their children being taken into care. The court heard she planned to kill the younger two children and herself after the older four had died. She described how the children were terrified as she made them swallow the tablets and the child that she tried to drown was hysterical as she held his head under the water. And I seen from my research at the time that she'd actually posted disturbing stuff on Facebook talking about killing children. I believe there was a lot of missed opportunities here and when I say this has happened before it's happened countless times and it will keep happening if people don't start trying to protect the children because at the end of the day if you know somebody and you think the child is being abused you need to try and help that person be, be trying to intervene with their family. The last per thing that people want is to break families up but if children are not safe then there sometimes is no other choice and with this case it's just a tragic loss of these two young boys and these other children have got to grow up knowing that their parents took the lives of their brothers and tried to take their own so my condolences to the family and also to these children that are still alive as well i wish you all the best for the future i hope they can try and make the best of what has happened i really want to hear what people have to say on this so please pay your respects to tristan and blake as well please share it and support it and please make sure 
sure that nobody forgets who they was. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram at Scar City Studios. Or stories, please send it to the website at scarcitystudios.co.uk.